Annette Kellerman, Mermaid Queen. When she was born in 1887, nobody ever expected Annette Kellerman to do anything athletic, least of all herself. Due to illness, she had weak crooked legs and wore heavy braces for support. This caused her to walk slowly and stiffly. To avoid being teased, she kept to herself. When she was six, her doctor recommended routine exercise to strengthen her legs. So Annette took swimming lessons and hated them, but the more she practiced, the better she got. Her legs grew stronger, and soon she no longer needed braces. By 15, she was a talented swimmer and diver and started competing and winning. Her passion led to a unique job. Dressed in a mermaid costume, Annette did two shows a day, swimming among fish at the Exhibition Aquarium in the largest glass tank in the world. She was a star swimmer in Australia, but wanted to further her career, so she moved to London. Sadly, no one was interested in a mermaid show, but she'd had a taste of fame and wanted more. What could she do to get attention? Her talent was swimming, so she swam 13 miles down the Thames River, something no man had ever done. People were so astonished she became front page news. The British media called her the Australian Mermaid. Annette then decided to take her skills to America. She performed water ballets and vandalay shows wearing elaborate costumes. Her career was on the rise, but then something awful happened. In 1907, she was arrested. Had she robbed a bank? Blackmailed someone? Committed murder? No, she had worn a one-piece bathing suit to Reverend Beach in Massachusetts. It covered her from her neck to her ankles, but it exposed her bare arms. Scandalous, shocking, and illegal. It was similar to what she'd worn in Australia and London, but in the States, women were not encouraged to swim. They would daintily dip their toes in the water, dressed in swimming suits with stockings, skirts, sleeves, bonnets, and rows of ruffles. During her court trial, Annette told the judge, I can't swim wearing more clothes than you would hang on a clothesline. She won, and she started a line of women's bathing suits called Kellermans. They did not have stockings or sleeves. Annette wrote swimming manuals and books about beauty, health, and exercise. She was also a silent film star in underwater spectacular with stunts, like diving into a pool of live crocodiles. She believed her greatest achievement was holding all the women's swimming records in 1905, or the book she wrote. It was creating a suit so women could freely enjoy swimming as much as she did.